Hello and welcome to this week's special edition of the Homeland Security Report. I'm Tony Christopher. And today we are speaking with Mr. Ziv Nave, CTO at Innocon. Hello, Mr. Nave. You have a family business. Please tell us about your role in the company. I'm the CTO at uh, Innocon. Um, Innocon has been around since the end of uh, 2001, 13 years now. Uh, I've spent there most of my uh, professional career as an electronics engineer, uh, and it's been a very good ride. Uh, at Inacon, uh, we started by uh, developing avionics uh, and ground station uh, related uh, software and hardware. Uh, we then moved on to uh, the uh, tactical uh, UAVs. We've been developing tactical UAVs uh, since uh, 2003. Uh, we have a few in the uh, arsenal. Uh, a few years back, we uh, saw a trend that was developing to uh, start including uh, mini UAVs uh, in the uh, battlefield. We, thought, uh, we saw that happen in, uh, both in uh, Israel and in the United States. Other countries followed later. Uh, this was a technology that was uh, that was new to everybody. What uh, was uh, a little bit uh, familiar to us is we started off uh, in the 80s as uh, aero modelers, so we we were familiar with this kind of uh, air vehicles. Uh, this trend was actually supported by the uh, miniaturization and development of uh, small size uh, payloads. Uh, everybody understand that uh, the mission of the UAV is not to actually fly. Uh, but to carry around a uh, uh, payload camera uh, most of the times and other sorts of payload. As the uh, components uh, got smaller, such as communication and payloads, uh, the air vehicle uh, got smaller and uh, the, whole, uh, the whole system became something that can be carried around to the field by, uh, by uh, personal, by, by foot, and, not, uh, and didn't require runway um, to fly from and to. Now, in the, tech in the uh, tactical field, uh, we have seen a trend of uh, bigger UAVs that can carry uh, sometimes weapons to the uh, battlefield. Uh, but also small UAVs that ran on uh, electrical power since the, the, the main problem in the tactical field uh, was, was the engine. Small engines that run on gasoline, normally two-stroke engines. Uh, the UAV is too small to carry a four-stroke engine uh, and uh, is too big to carry an electric engine and uh, the engines were always the uh, problem in the uh, tactical field. We in Inacon found some solutions of, uh, of um, uh, engines that uh, are more reliable and uh, can be replaced very rapidly in O level in the field. So basically, we uh, compensate for the uh, lack of uh, dependability, you could say, of, uh, of a motor by changing them very rapidly and at uh, relatively low cost, uh, and actually preserving the other uh, benefits uh, from a tactical UAV, which are the ability, it's a smaller aircraft than a male UAV, it has a smaller footprint, uh, cheaper, can uh, sometimes fly uh, lower altitudes under the uh, clouds if there is a low cloud base. Um, so we have seen uh, uh, international trend of uh, actually, if you look at the uh, at the uh, at, at the life uh, uh, cycles of uh, tactical UAVs, we've seen them uh, starting to fade away in the next few years. But uh, some of them, but some of them uh, are still there and strong. And the mission for a tactical UAV is uh, definitely there. What are the products Innocon specializes in? In the mini UAVs, our products are the uh, Spider UAV, which is a, a small mini UAV carried to the field by a single operator, operated by a single operator. Uh, there is the Micro Falcon, which is slightly bigger than the Spider. The Spider can fly for two hours, the Micro Falcon three and a half hours. 
Uh, it's uh, still a very small aircraft, can also be carried to the uh, field by a single operator and launched uh, by hand. In the uh, technical field, we have the Mini Falcon 1, uh, which is an 80 kilogram aircraft. The Mini Falcon 2 is 150 kilogram, and the G Star, uh, which is operated by the Royal Thai Air Force. It's a cooperation between Inocon and uh, uh, Thai uh, local Thai manufacturer, uh, which is a 220 kilogram aircraft with a uh, with a payload with HD image and uh, the capability of broadcasting from the aircraft to the ground uh, HD imagery. What are the relative advantages of your products compared with others in the market? Inocon uh, has been founded in 2001 by uh, my, my father, Tzvika, and, and I. Um, Tzvika has been around with UAVs since the late 70s. He was one of the first pilots of uh, UAVs in the Israeli Air Force. And uh, he has a very long background in uh, UAVs from operation to design. Uh, together we are a few engineers who do uh, all the autopilot and ground station. All of this is done in-house. We do all the aerodynamical, aeromechanical, engineering, and also prototype uh, production, mass production we do uh, outside. Uh, we have been uh, working in cooperation with the other companies that uh, found Inocon because it's uh, flexibility and the ability to uh, react very fast to uh, the market. Uh, uh, we have been working with uh, other companies that, that needed the product fast and we brought it. The Mini Falcon 1E uh, was developed for Elbit uh, Systems. Uh, we started sketching that aircraft uh, in the month of May and the first flight was August uh, 10th. So within three months and 10 days, we designed, built, and uh, flew the first uh, unit. And we're talking about a 100 kilogram aircraft. So uh, this is uh, something that you can do with a uh, very agile and uh, uh, flexible uh, company like ours. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you for watching this special interview. See you at the same time, same place next week. And for further information, click the link below.